Welcome back to our Minecraft survival world. I'm just sitting here watching Gil get his exercise. Someone said to replace the plain glass with some blue glass so that you can see inside and it looks so much better. For some reason, I did not know that was a thing. Anyway, today we've got a super fun project. For quite a few episodes now, we've been working on adding things to the base, but the area around the base is just kind of lifeless and dead. We need more plants like these bamboo shoots and flowers around the area and benches. I'm even thinking I'm gonna transform this area into a courtyard. So I hope you'll hang out with me today as we bring this area to life. Also, okay, check this out. Bob comes through here and what does he have? Cactus. You're so proud of yourself, huh? We went on an entire several thousand block journey just to get cactus, and this guy shows up on my doorstep with it ready to sell. But hey, I'm not mad actually. Yeah, no, I'm not. Because if we hadn't gone on that adventure, we wouldn't have found that coral reef and we couldn't have made that beautiful tank for Gil. Oh man, I love seeing him out and about instead of just in a bucket. But before we do all that, we gotta get some mining done because I am almost out of iron. And a while ago, I saw a spot in this forest here while I was cleaning out the trees that looked like it led down into a mine shaft. So I wanna check that out, see if we can't find a couple goodies. Oh my gosh, look how the tower looks from back here. It's like a major landmark in our world. That's awesome. Also, I've deforested quite a bit of land along here. I'm sure if you check episode zero versus now, I think there was a lot more forest here. I've kind of been clearing it out in the hopes that we would build something here, but I don't know, maybe we should just replant it. I wanna be a good friend to nature. Okay, let's see. Somewhere around here. Oh, is this it? Oh my goodness, that is quite a drop. Yep, I see mineshaft tracks. Should we just send it into the water? Let me get my shield out first. Okay. Whew. Here we go. Whoa. Okay. Holy moly. This is like bigger than the cave that we mined in to get our first bit of iron. And look at that. Iron already. Oh, hey, a zombie villager. Oh no, I heard you. Go away. Go away. Oh, I hate these things. Stop. Oh my gosh, dude. Those things hurt. This cave was absolutely filled with iron, so I got to work. Look at this, our first chest. Let's see what's in it. Oh, name tag, nice. Torches, nice. Coal, nice. Iron, nice. Powered rails, nice. Everything else, not so nice. Oh my goodness, I guess it's time to visit the optometrist. I might need glasses. Oh, but I can see that iron just fine. Look at this world generation. This is absolutely insane. I feel like every time I go into a cave these days, I'm just wowed out of my mind. I think these new caves kind of took a little bit of warming up to, but man, are they so much better than old Minecraft caves, in my opinion. Oh, an unfortunate spider must have met their death here. I'll take the string though. Oh shoot, those are cave spiders. I think I'm just gonna leave that alone. No! Oh my gosh, I hate the poison effect. Poison is the scariest thing in Minecraft because it leaves you open to other attacks. Also, my gosh, they keep going for that same eye, huh? Oh lord. Oh, that worked out nicely. Speaking of poison, and speaking of skeletons, because there's a lot of there, what do you guys think of the new mob that they're adding, the Bogged? It's exciting to have another mob variant, in my opinion, but I really hope they do a buff to milk somehow, so that like you can drink multiple times from the same bucket. Otherwise, you're going to have to carry around a ton of milk anytime you go into a swamp. Oh, finally, another minecart chest. And it's got a diamond. Nice. And a golden apple. Another one. What do we got? Another name tag, nice. Now we're talking, here's another one. Ooh, glowberries. Actually, I think I have some. And another name tag. Every time I thought we were close to finishing our cave adventure, I found another spot to explore. Little did I know how big of a surprise I was in for. Okay, time for a little update. So I thought I was kind of getting to the end of the cave and then I came through a little passageway and dug up here and look at this. I've been down here for hours at this point and there's like an entire another oh my gosh oh my gosh get out of here get, oh three creepers but i have been down here for so long my inventory can't fit like anything more so i see i think i see some light up there yeah i'm gonna go up that hole and see just how far away we've traveled underground oh no oh 
No. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> I didn't even have a bed set. Oh, no. Oh, this is terrible. I was so loaded with goods. A creeper just fell on my head right after I recorded that last clip. I have to get back there fast. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find where I was in time. Shoot. I put my render and simulation distance as far down as they could go just in case that can help save the loot from despawning. Hey, Rufus. No time to chat. I need the fish. I'm leaving. Bye. Please, 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 please. Oh, this is where it was. Where's my stuff? <gasps> There's my stuff. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Give it. Give it all. Put on my armor. Put on my shield. And it's thunderstorming outside. And so I'm just going to carve myself a little hole in the rock and go to sleep in here. Oh my gosh. I almost forgot our diamonds. That can be dropped. That can be dropped. No, 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 no. Just blow up. I don't care. There's still so much to explore, but I have had enough. Let's get home and count up all of the stuff that we got. Oh, Bob, you would not believe the adventure I just got back from. Are you ready to see the riches from our cave adventure? All this stuff that we died for and almost lost. Look at this. All of this is from a single caving trip. I gotta say, classic Minecraft caving can't be beat. You can build all the farms in the world, a mega iron farm, whatever you want, but nothing will beat the feeling of coming back from a caving adventure and just seeing how much loot you got. Now I gotta cook all this up, but we should be good for iron for a while. I quickly came to the realization that my single blast furnace was not gonna cut it. So I put together a quick and dirty super smelter in my basement. I also made a quick trip to the mine because I wanted a better fuel source than using up all my coal. With the fuel all loaded up, I could just set it and forget it. I'm over here by the graveyard because we've got even more gravestones to add. One for episode 9 when we fell down the pit while we were building our tower. And I'm going to bury a piece of scaffolding under here to symbolize that death. And another one here for episode 10 for the death we just experienced. And this guy is going to have some gunpowder inside. This place is growing a lot faster than I was hoping it would. Oops. You know what, let's stop by the farm for a second and breed up some of these cows because my beef supply is looking a little bit low. I see this guy found his way to the farm. Yeah, that's right. I remember you from a couple episodes ago. I'll leave you be for now. We'll just go ahead and pop these into our oven here. And now it's just about time to get building. The first thing I wanted to do was add our courtyard. So I got to digging. I'm not sure what block I want to put here under the soup, but I'm going to try andesite mixed with polished andesite. I think maybe that'll be a kind of a nice contrast we'll see they're two very different textures but i love how the colors look together i plopped a bunch of those down and then surrounded the whole thing with smooth stone slabs okay hmm i'm not sure what to think of this i think i need a view from higher up okay okay that's actually not bad i think it might look better once we get some more detailing done around the area but first gotta grab our steaks and we'll just put the rest in the fridge also, check out this map. I love how the roof looks on this. Oh man, oh we should make a map of like our whole island peninsula area. This is just gonna look so good when we have everything done. I'm imagining we kind of stretch our base around these areas here. I kind of make like a courtyard area in the middle with paths going out to all the different areas in our world. This is gonna look fantastic. Oops, I'm on the table. There we go. <laughs> To achieve our next goal today, I had to get a couple levels, so I stopped by our skeleton XP farm, which still needs to be decorated. And while I was there, the skeletons dropped some pretty impressive loot. Check this out, full chainmail armor. I don't, I don't know if I've ever had a full set of chainmail armor before. How do we look? Oh, that's so cool, and you can see my green shirt through here. It's a little worse for wear. Actually, we could repair some of the chest plate, but the rest of it needs some help. 
So maybe we'll just keep it hanging up as a decoration for now. That's so neat though. Oh, I love collecting little things like this. It's a great way to have a goal in your world that's not like super over the top mega challenge extreme you know just collecting those little things oh i'd love to get all of the cds as well or the music discs anyway it's time to finally use our enchanting tower that we built let me just grab some lapis head up the stairs and do some enchanting now i want a shovel that's specifically for making paths in this world which is why i'm doing this i don't want to waste the durability of my regular shovel on breaking that's exactly what we want I saw a lot of comments from you guys saying to put candles in here instead of the lanterns, maybe balance them on top of the glass. And I think that's a great idea and would add so much ambiance to this room. The problem is I need wax, which means I need bees, which I think we're going to get later in this episode because having bees flying around would really help our base feel alive. Oh, this is kind of trippy. And your name will be Pathfinder because it's gonna find us some paths. That's what we're doing next. We need to start linking up our builds, like our farm, to this area right here. And while we're doing that, I figured we could answer today's question of the day. Oh, chicken. Man, the more I look at this, the more I really like it. Today's question comes from, wait, actually, <laughs> oops, I didn't even notice until now. It's from the same person as episode eight, Wisp 5024 oops. Oh, well, we'll roll with it. The question is, if you could choose, what would your dream job be? I'm going to start laying down a basic path while I talk about this. For me, I feel like I've had a couple of dream jobs throughout the years. Oh, baby. <laughs> the biggest thing that I always come back to with my dream jobs is a couple of facts about myself. I know that I'm a creative person. I love making things. And I also know that I'm very much a people person. I love sharing things with people. For a long time, I thought I wanted to be like a video game designer just because that's the perfect blend of making things and sharing them with people. Then I wanted to be a musician. Then I kind of got into the video production landscape, which is where I'm at right now, actually. My current job has to do with uh, video production. But also the older I get, I mean, I'm not that old, I'm in my 20s. But the older I get, the simpler I'd really like things to be. Like honestly, I think I would be perfectly fine working at a coffee shop, just serving people coffee, making someone's day just a little bit better that way, you know? I'm very fortunate to have the job I do have right now working in video production. And in some ways it is very much a dream job of mine. But also this YouTube thing so far has been absolutely phenomenal. It's, it's the best of both worlds that I was talking about where I get to create things and I get to share them with you. We should go to sleep here real quick. Oh my goodness, I can't seem to make myself sleep right on this bed. Hey girl. But back to what I was saying. Sorry this is such a roundabout answer. It just got me thinking philosophically, you know? <laughs> my dream job is somewhere where I get to be very creative and that's about as specific as I can get. And I'm very lucky right now to be able to be creative in both my full-time job and in this YouTube thing. And I'm definitely going to keep working on YouTube because I'm having so much fun sharing this experience with you guys. I guess that's some advice for you guys too, maybe. It's okay not to have a dream job or to know exactly what you want to do with your life. Just focus on who you are and find something that you like to do. And you know, maybe in two or three years or four or five years or more than that, it won't be something you like to do. Maybe you'll have moved on to a new thing, but that's okay too. People change and that's one of the coolest things about being alive, getting to experience everything and try new things, you know? Okay, this has been a certified yap session and I've just been randomly throwing this path down while we've been talking. So I'm gonna focus up and get some detailing done. I smoothed out the paths using some oak slabs all the way down to our bridge to the farm. I also added in some coarse dirt just for a little bit of texture. Then I extended the path all the way to the mine before getting started decorating the base. No way, dude. You can just put these down like that? I did not know they could go on like regular blocks. This changes everything. Wait a second, what if, okay. We're gonna have to get creative with how we do these, but we could put one there, one there, one there, and just grow these. From all of them? No way. Wait. Oh, that's gonna look so good. Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh hey. Hey Bob. Welcome back. <laughs> Do you like my berries that I just put up? Yeah, right behind you. You gotta turn around to see him. <laughs> okay, I guess the llamas like him. What do you have for me today? Coral. Uh nothing I want. You can uh 
you can be on your way. <laughs> These might be my new favorite decoration block in the game. That looks so good. I wonder if you can do this. Let's see. Where's a good place to put this? Right here? Oh, no. Does it have to be on a solid block? There we go. Oh, and then you get the particle effects. Oh my gosh. I also think there's too much open land around here. So I'm going to plant a couple of trees and we'll see how that goes. And no, I'm not making giant custom trees, at least not right now. I honestly really don't mind the way Minecraft trees look. It's just, it's very Minecraft, you know? And I think that fits the spirit of this series. With the base having so much greenery, I set out to find some certain insects to be our friends. I've been searching around for a while and I was just about to give up in this area because I can't find any bees, but then there they are, right there. Hey guys, where's your hive? I want to take it. Oh, there it is. Now the question is, will they get mad at me if I pick it up right away? I think they will. Do I have to wait for them to go inside? We might have to wait till dark. I think it's time to grab our beehive. I also found a couple of others, so I'm going to pick those up on the way too. Also, I just came from that ruined nether portal that's right behind me, which is why I have a gold block. <laughs> The beehives fit perfectly on the new trees around our base. So I started breeding up the bee population and harvesting the honey. I also made a quick pit stop to repair our axe because it was literally just about to break. Alright, are you guys ready for the full tour? A lot of things have changed around here and I can't wait to show you all of it. But first, we've got some other business we gotta attend to real quick. We have to thank some of our new members. We got Fat Boy Blues, We All Fall Down, Sinra was taken, Soden14, Squirr XC, Honey Milk, a legend, thank you, Lurker, Brisinger Wolf 1, Brisinger Wolf 1? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Lane Tellefson, that sounds like a Viking name, <laughs> and Bryson, who is also a legend. Thank you guys so, so much. We've also got to name one villager today in Town Town. There are so many of you guys who signed up to be villagers, but I don't want you all just to live in Town Town. So I hope you'll be patient with me as we get started on some other builds for you guys, you villagers to live in. Oh my gosh, I'm so close. Hello. I promise all of you will get names. It's just a matter of making some builds for you guys to stay in. We got the OG members in Town Town, but it would be so cool to spread out some of you across the world. Hi, B. I really want to name one of the stonemason guys, wherever they are, because I think I'm going to be trading for bricks soon. I have a couple projects that I'd really like some bricks. Hey, I was just looking for one of you, right? It's you. Yes, you trade the bricks. That's a good deal. You will be Tony Whack. <laughs> Welcome to Town Town. All right. I think it's time we do a little tour of the house area. I've been working on it for so long. I just, I can't wait to show you guys. All right, the sun is setting, the darkness is setting in, and I have our shaders on because I really want to do this tour with the shaders. I also want to show you all the light sources that I set up. So we're going to do this tour at night, and then I'll show you a couple of things that are different during the day. Are you ready? We'll start at the front door here. Obviously, I had to mark that this is my house, so Gil knows that it's not his, it's mine. <laughs> I got some rose bushes down here. Horse horse is still chilling here. I put up a mailbox here because I figured we need some way to receive mail and we got something in there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Subscribe. <laughs> anyway, coming out of the front door, we have this beautiful courtyard area here surrounding our soup bowl. I put these azalea bushes down. It kind of looks like they've been like potted in some mulch around the sides. And I love this because we could even switch out the types of flowers that are on here at some point. I also put these redstone lamps in the floor because it kind of looks like spotlights illuminating the soup. Now on our first stop, we'll turn to the left of the house. We got the tower up here and this area just turned out so beautiful, I think. I put together a little bit of a crop field just in case we need some without having to run all the way to the farm. Over here are some of my bee farms I set up. I've been breeding these guys like crazy, but I kind of wanted these to look like actual real life bee boxes but they're also functional. You can flip down these trapdoors and light the fires and smoke the bees out if you need to. 
to get the honey. I love these hanging glowberries. They look so beautiful. I also dotted around some berry bushes and some drip leaf around the area because I love how these look. It kind of looks like a monstera plant if you've ever seen that and I, I just love those. Anyway, this path just goes back down to the barn. I have these nice lamp posts that I put up everywhere. Can't remember if I showed building those or not. I planted some more trees up here. Oh, we have a visitor. Hello. I'm doing my tour right now. Please come back later. <laughs> and that's it for this path. Put some more bamboo. Oh, and this water here is that when I jump off the sky bridge, I don't take damage because sometimes that's a lot faster than finding the door. <laughs> now, obviously, this path goes past our project board here. Around here, I kept our tool bench up with some tools for the crops just in case we need them. And this cuts around through here. I've got some rose bushes here, some more bees here. And this path actually goes all the way to our hut. Oh, another visitor. But yeah, our fishing house is down there. And then I have a place where I'd like the path to split off and go to town town, but I haven't done that yet. It's on my to-do list on the project board. But coming across this way, oh, I'm gonna take care of this guy real quick. There we go. Okay, coming across this way at night, we've got a little bit of a forest. This tree has been here since the beginning, so I just added a couple more. We've got some pots that are filled with honey from the beehives. And you just come down this way, pass a little more vegetation. It feels just a lot cozier, you know? And then this goes all the way out to our mine out there. Also, yes, I made a spyglass. So yeah, this is... Oh my goodness, that's the only problem with having the berry bushes there. <laughs> This is the new yard. There's not a lot out this way because, oh, that's a lot of monsters. I have some ideas of how to expand the base out this way. And so I don't want to fill that area in just yet. But just looking around here, this is amazing. It feels lived in. It feels homey. It feels cozy. I just, I love this area. But let me know what you guys think. If there's anything you'd like me to add or things that are bothering you, I want to know your input. Okay, let's take a look at it during the day because it's a little bit different. We've got all of our bee friends out here. Oh, and we've got some other friends here too. Nope, please go away. <laughs> I kind of went a little bit overboard with the bees just because I wanted a bunch of them around and I feel like they have a habit of getting lost. But it just, it helps these areas feel so much more alive when you're running through them. We've got another beehive hidden in there. And these guys are just so cute. So I've got them dotted down the path there. There's a couple on the way to the farm and a couple have made their home right in my base here. And of course, some more down in this little foresty area. Although they don't seem to be out right now. But during the day, you can kind of see the path a little bit better going all the way down to our hut. And then I want to split it off right here and make a bridge going to town town. We've also got all these dandelions dotted around. I just, I don't know, they're so cute. I grew up in a yard that was always full of dandelions. So we have them around here. Thanks for hanging out this episode. We didn't build anything crazy. We just did a little bit of decorating and I think that's okay. We made our Minecraft house into a Minecraft home. And oh my goodness. Oh, hello B. <laughs> I'm so excited to continue our base. So I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> this B really wants the spotlight, huh?